Why, hello there, and guten Tag to you all. I am Dr. Weiser Flip, and with me I have my boy. Oh, I'm Frank N. Stein. Ah, yeah. So, welcome to this month's podcast show uh, with me, Dr. Weiser Flip. As I've just already said, I don't know why I said it again. So, uh, we usually do like uh, monthly podcast podcasts and uh, and always have a different topic of discussion. So, Frank and my boy, what is the discussion of this month? Ghosts. Oh, ghosts. Good topic, my boy. So, ghosts. Supernatural entities that are of people's spirits that leave the body. And of course, ghosts come back for many reasons, to finish some unfinished business, which could be something they didn't do in life, that they always had an ambition doing, or, or to get revenge on their killers if they were murdered. Um, and they always tend to haunt one spot, like um, always have somewhere to haunt, like uh, a house or a landmark or you know something like that uh as you know me and my boy frank ed stein have been watching the haunting on hill house uh is that right my boy oh yes master the netflix original yeah the netflix original uh so tell me my boy what is it that you uh like about ghosts well, I always wonder, um, Casper the Friendly Ghost, he's always friendly and nice, but people run away from him. And, of course, I had that dark theory once, didn't I, Master, about Casper the Friendly Ghost, um, when he was, um, you know, the, you know, that, that where he's, we like to see a cute, adorable ghost, but... For some reason, they'll all be seen like a, a rotting child or something. Yeah, yeah, that is a theory. Uh, of course, that is family-friendly supernatural stuff there, you know. Uh, Casper's a friendly ghost. But, um, you know, there are many different types of ghosts. Um, so, one of my favourite uh, things about ghosts is that there is a possibility that they are real. I mean, there is no hard, solid evidence, or is there? We don't know, because it's like, we see ghosts, but are they real? Do they exist? That is the question. Is there life after death? Well, is there, Master? I believe so. I obviously believe in ghosts. I mean... I've had my fair share of ghosts encounter in my time. I mean, I was, um, you know, haunted by my house. When I was a young boy, I went to boarding school, and that was haunted, because in the war, it was a refuge place for children and young adults, and let's just say the person that was running this thing was pure evil. I mean... He was a vile man, just like the Nazis, but, uh, of course, um, he got found out for what he did and then arrested and stuff, but people say that the horrors of that moment still haunt it. That's another thing, it can be haunted memories or something. Uh, I mean, in Germany we call them geists, and also Ghosts can be noisy, and in Germany, in fact, actually, this is something here, my boy. Do you know the term poltergeist? Well, yes, master, when things get thrown around and lifted up and, like, tables and chairs all getting stacked up um, and stuff. Yeah, my boy, classic poltergeists. But poltergeist is actually a German word. Yeah, it is. I'm sure a lot of people know this, but uh, poltergeist is German for noisy ghosts, or noisy spirits. 
to us, this isn't a very creative term of phrase, but in other parts of the world where you don't speak German, I guess it is. Um, so yeah, I kind of talked a bit now. Tell me, Frankie, my boy, what are your, one of your favorite Ghosts movies? Oh, well, I like quite a lot, Master. Like, uh, I like, uh, you know, 13 Ghosts, uh, you know, Poltergeist, um, The Ring. Is The Ring a ghost film? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Japanese ghost horror. Well, yes, that's what I think they are. I like them. Um, also, I can see ghosts. You know, because I'm undead. I've seen ghosts as well. They talk and that. Sometimes they don't even know they're dead, like in The Sixth Sense, where he can see ghosts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah you are a supernatural entity myself, though, my boy, made out of the dead. I do believe that if you do have a near-death experience or you die for a brief moment of time, then you could possibly get granted the ability to see ghosts, like um, Ricky Gervais did in that 2008 film, um, Ghost Town. Oh, yes, Master, that was a funny film. Yeah, yeah, it was. That was a, a supernatural comedy, though, wasn't it, boy? Not a horror. But it still had the element of ghosts. Um, what else is uh, that we have? Um, you know, we have, like, uh, other films, The Shining, and, uh, you know, it, it, ghosts always have some kind of form or way into the world of horror, because you can make, you can tell, far, there's been so, so many endless stories about ghosts and sightings of ghosts. Uh, you pick quite a subject to talk about today, my boy. Oh, uh, yes, master. That's because I've been watching paranormal ghost videos on the YouTube. <laughs> you know. Um, thinking, what did I say about your phone? Please do not leave it on whilst we are podcasting. Oh, yes, master. Sorry, master. Uh, I'll fix that right away, master. Be sure to do so, my boy. Be sure mm. to do so. Um... So, continuing um, the podcast, you put it on silent at least. Yes, Master. W w I mean, you better. I mean, I think you're thinking, what am I doing with a phone? Because I'm not that old, am I? I got a phone because my master likes to contact me when I'm out running errands for him because he doesn't come out much. Okay, they so don't need to know that, my boy. So, um, yeah. The, um, ghosts. Um, I have seen a lot of ghosts films, as I have said. One of them, I, uh, some I like, some I don't like. Uh, now, we do have, let, let's just talk about fictitious ghostly things at the moment, before we get to, like, the facts. Oh, yes, I, I see, must, yes. Um, well... I think that one of my favorite ghost movies are like uh, The Headless Ghost or, um, you know, the, you know, like, um, you know, like some some other things like Poltergeist uh, and The Haunting. And, oh, and one of my favorites is The House on the Haunted Hill with Vincent Price. That is a nicely done horror film. In fact, I went to the cinemas way back in... Uh, 1959 to see this film and I remember being quite scared you know because back then horror films were considered very very scary you know I mean it was a thing that happened you know back then oh yes master I know that quite spooky indeed um and then there was poltergeist now isn't it true that sometimes the facts can tell the fiction. Yes, my boy. Yes, they can. The fact can tell the fiction. Um, so one of my facts here is that we, um, you know, there's a lot of horror films that are fact-based, like the Amityville Horror. So the Amityville Horror. In fact, do you want to talk about this for a kid, my boy? Because I kind of am taking up all the hogging space. Oh, yes, Master. So, 
uh, if you go with the Amityville franchise, uh, it's all focused on a house in Amityville, like, uh, you know, real murders happened in this real house, and then before you know it, um, you know, a family moved in, and they didn't care about the murders. Now, um, people say that it was true, it wasn't true, but, you know, some believe that it's a hoax that went well and they pulled it off and whether ghosts were real i don't know but the warrens went there and they encountered a ghostly boy there probably one of the children who got killed um of course the warrens as well there's two versions of them now there's the real ed and the rain warren i mean ed warren died in 2006 and uh, Lorraine Warren is still alive to this day, uh, but, you know, I think Patrick Wilson and Vera Firminga do great in the Conjuring franchise as them. Uh, not only that, but the Conjuring films have spawned a universe full of ghosts and demons, and I I enjoy those films. You know, I mean, I've recently watched them chronologically, uh, you know, from The Nun to The Conjuring 2. And it's quite a good, a small good universe, and I'd really like to see more from that. In fact, they are working on a Conjuring Free, which I wonder what the topic will be on that. They do have the, uh, co the in the Conjuring 2, they are having the Warrens investigate the um, Amityville case. But, um, yes, that's pretty much it with that one. Um, yes, yeah, so... How about you, Master? How do you feel to these films that have fiction but such facts around them? Well, as you say, my boy, um, the films are, you know, somewhat good how they, how they tell these stories. I mean, I myself think that, you know, ghosts and fiction mix well and you know i think without the fact we won't have the fiction um you know like you say with the amateur film i mean the, the more the franchise has gone on they they sort of gone more in the fictitious approach but you can't forget that it was inspired by true events which make it terrifying like in the conjuring they're investigating um the haunting of uh, a witch haunting a family in I can't remember now, but in the Conjuring Two, they they start in Amityville, but then they go to the Enfield Poltergeist, which again is was true in 1977. You know, in in a small part of London, a family was being haunted by a crooked old man, who demanded that it is his house and. The thing is, these are actually... There's actual audio recordings of that, which I do find unsettling. Um, other things are like um, Annabelle. That, too, Annabelle is based on a real Raggedy Ann doll and is believed to be powered by a demon. Uh, you know, those, those are good prequels, along with The Nun, which is the recent installment. Uh, I find that is very fictionalized and stuff, but, you know, it could be real. I haven't done my research on that, but, uh, like you say, the Conjuring universe is a good small cinematic universe, which I think will expand in time. Oh, yes, I know, Master, I think they will. Um, so, what about the 13 ghosts in that film? Oh, yes, yeah, there's two different versions of that, but, yeah, there are 13 ghosts in that movie. Um, yeah, that is a good ghost film. Very, very unsettling and creepy, especially the remake. I, I was surprised by the remake, actually, and how graphic and good it was. Um, but other things in ghosts, you know, ghosts have uh, also, like, made it into the Pokemon franchise with ghost types, which I think is a bit odd. <laughs> but, you know, that is Pokemon, you uh, Let's get back onto the topic of ghosts. So, um, yeah, I do think you know, that hauntings and that could be real. And, of course, there are so many haunted locations in the world that are famous, like Alcatraz, prison, 
Um, you know, and I imagine Chernobyl is somewhat of a ghost town, uh, but it is radiation and, and stuff. Um, it's hard to think of what, of, a, of another haunted location off the top of my head when I'm doing this. Uh, but yeah, um, to our listeners, tell us, you know, send in emails. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah or no? You know, I want to know if you believe in ghosts, because I do. Oh, Buster, do you know that Edinburgh is one of the top places for ghost hunting? You know, ghosts and hunting things. Yeah, my boy, I, I do know that ghosts and hauntings. It's, um, Edinburgh, I, I, we were, I once went there quite a long time ago. Well, not too long ago, it was... Uh, 1978, I went there to do to some medical convention where I went to study a bit of medicine and stuff, and yeah, I went on a ghost tour at night, and the things that were said there, you know, and also one of the other places I've been to where there are ghosts are the catacombs in Paris. Man, those catacombs, it was cold and dark, and I definitely felt the presence of something there. And that. Also, ah, oh, now we are brainstorming on haunted locations. What about the suicide forest, Master? There has to be restless spirits there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure there is, my boy. Restless ghosts. Haunting and doing... All kinds of manner of things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is is quite a good place, you know, for spirits to dwell. Because, I don't know, what is it about that place that makes people do away with themselves? It is mind-boggling. Um, yes. Uh, so, what else do you think about ghosts? Well, from watching an anime called Charmin King which is an anime cartoon from the 2000s that I found. It seems that ghosts and humans, like, control one another and they do possession things. Uh, but one thing I do, I did f pick up from that is that at midnight, all the ghosts in the cemetery all party. And also Halloween night, uh, that is when the barriers between the dead and the living are at their weakest. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. Did you see any ghosts on Halloween? Oh, yes, Master. More than I can imagine. More than I can count. But yes, I, I, I did see them. Ah, that's, that's very interesting, my boy. Um, so, what else with the ghosts are we talking about? Um, well, we do see that there are um, other things out there, like, uh, like the yuri from Japanese folklore. And, of course, what do you think of Japanese ghosts, Franken? Because to me, they're pale, they have the eyes, you know. Yeah, I do find them unsettling. Not only that, they seem to curse you. Like Samara Morgan in the ring, or, or from the original for Ringu. They curse you by, if you watch a tape, you'll die seven days later, or... Or the grudge, if you stay in the house, uh, the ghosts torment you then. It's very creepy just doing that. Also, the ring is believed to have been fact-based, because in the original film, the Japanese one, the uh, Ringu, um, they actually went to a real well and they did sound tests and that down there, and the director said he thought nothing of it at the time when he heard some voices. But looking back at it now... He finds it scary. Yeah, I did hear about that you know, too. Yeah, yeah, very briefly though. I did not look much into that um, stuff. Of course, um, what do you think on naughty evil spirits, you know? Well, evil spirits, I say, if you can't help them, you, know, you can try and help them with their unfinished business, but if they don't want to tell you, then you best get Ghostbusters in. Ghostbusters! I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah! Supernatural comedy there, Ghostbusters. I loved the first film, and I liked the second film, but I thought the remake was a bit p 
piss sucked. Are you sure, Master? I thought it was quite a good one, the remake. You know, it had women in it. Yeah, I thought that was okay. That is a, somewhat of a good improvement, but... Uh, yeah, it just was not for me. Yeah, okay, Master. They did an animated series, though, called The Real Ghostbusters. Yeah, they did, my boy. Yeah, they did. But, of course, it just... Uh, the reboot was not for me. Uh, so, yeah. What else do you like to talk about uh, with... Franken, have you put the TV on? Oh, sorry, Master. I, uh, I, I sat on the remote. It's on my... It's on my bottom. Well, you should not keep it on. We have to... You know, we should get a sound booth, you know. Yes, Master, I know we should. Um, can we go back onto the subject of ghost? Yeah, yeah, fine. So, what do you think to uh, the ghosts of horror? And that do the scale. I I know. I keep saying. What are your thoughts on the ghosts and all that? Um. But tell me, my boy. Ghosts. Do they scare you so much that you cannot sleep at night? What about the Paranormal Activity franchise? Well, I wouldn't say that's ghosts, master. I'd say that's demons. Scary, scary demons. We should do another topic of discussion on that at some point. Demons, because sometimes I feel that demons and ghosts can fall into the same category. Yeah, you're right. They, they, they can do. Uh, and that. Maybe we should have done the topic on both ghosts and demons, but uh, we spent the last portion of this show talking about the ghosts, so... Uh, we should stick to that, just that one subject. So, um, what do you think of ghosts in fictitious films and TV shows? Afterlife, quite, uh, scary. Uh, but it's still a good supernatural series. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I get that, my boy, I do. Quite unsettling stuff. Um... So, is there anything else you want to discuss about ghosts and stuff as you pick the subject? I always about ghosts and stuff as you pick the subject. I always think to pick the subject, Master. I know, because I hear what you've got to say. You've got to say about the horror genre, you know, boy. Oh, yes, Master. <laughs> yeah, spooky ghosts. And they always jump you by going... Boom. Yeah, yeah, they do, don't they, boy? Boo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, um, so, yeah. Um, so, let's us get through some, uh, some emails, shall we? Uh, reading some, uh, here. Uh, let us, um, look. Ah, so, here we go. Uh, dear Dr. Fripp, could you, Dr. Fripp, could you please take this, oh, uh, no, this is not, not related to the podcast. Um, let's see, let's see, ah, here's one. Uh, Dr. Fripp, is your mother a ghost? Probably. Um... And here's one for you, Franken. Uh, Franken, if you're a, if you can see ghosts, could you, uh, you know, see if my house is haunted? I live in Austria. Well, maybe we could make some arrangements if you get in touch with us. What do you think, Franken, my boy? Oh yes, master, I'd like to see that. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's uh, pretty much it. I can't find anything else to uh discuss on. Uh, no emails us anything. So, anything you want to say before we wrap up, my boy? Um, 
This hasn't been as long as the others we usually do, Master. I know, but uh, I have to do surgery uh, later, and I need to prepare myself. Uh, but you, I need you to go and collect some payments from some customers, too. All right, I see, Master. Um, no, I don't think so. I can't think of anything I want to say now. Um, so, yeah, um, ghosts, do you believe in them or not? I like to believe in them because they're spooky and I've seen them around. Um, yeah, well, um, yeah, that's probably all I have to say before I wrap up. Anything you want to say, Master? Yeah, me and my boy will be back with a Christmas special in December. But won't we be doing Halloween in January, filming it and everything, Master? You know, for January and December? Yeah, my boy, but we will make the time, because, well, Christmas is fun. And we could talk about a lot of good subjects, especially like the legend of Krampus and stuff. Oh, yes, Master, that sounds like fun. Yeah, I can't wait till we do a Christmas special. Will we film it in November? Yeah, we will film it in November this time. Even though this podcast, it is already up in November, but we will... Uh, but to our listeners, by the time you listen to this, we might have already done the Christmas special, and it'll just be a matter of uploading it and processing it. Uh, but for now, this is the uh, November um Flip and Franken show episode. So yeah, um we will discuss things in Christmas. There won't be a Flip and Franken show in January because like I say, me and my boy will be doing Halloween in January. It will be Halloween in January four. Oh boy, season four master. How many more of these do you think we'll do? I don't know. See how we feel and get on. Anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it for uh, this month's episode of The Flip and Frank Ken Show. Sorry we've had very little emails to uh, discuss and read through because we just haven't had any. So, yeah, until next time, I bid you all Half Fida say goodbye, yeah? Oh, yeah, bye-bye. We'll talk at Christmas. Did we do good, Master? Yeah, we did quote, my boy. So let's just turn all the equipment off now. Oh, yes. Okay, bye. Yeah, we've already said goodbye. Goodbye.